Hello and welcome to a new video about the magnetic field. Last time we talked about a flux density. So if there is a density of something, then this something must also be there. So there must be a magnetic flux. right? And yes, there is. There is a magnetic flux. Uh, however, it, the same thing applies to, to the magnetic flux that we've talked about in the electric flux, this is not really a flux. There's not flowing something. There's no matter moving. Yeah. It's just, it's just a, a make imagination that we can imagine the field better. We imagine a flux. Okay. So there is a magnetic flux. Symbol. It's a phi. Uh, phi flux that fits. Uh, symbol is a phi. Now, what is this magnetic flux? How we can we calculate it? So we said, okay, this B, this was the magnetic flux density. And let's say we have a certain area. Here we have an area, and this area is AI, uh, area I. Mm -hmm. And we have a certain flux density through this area with a certain BI through this, this uh, surface amount of surface. Then the flux which is passing through the surface phi I, equals the flux density bi multiplied by the area ai. Huh? Density multiplied by area is the thing. Hmm? This is this is the relation. And I have to mention the obvious. That's it. And now let's imagine we don't only have one A here. We have several A's. For instance, here is one A, another A, here is another A, here is another A, here is another A, here is another A. Here's another A, here's another A, and guess what? Here's a, even another A. So now it looks like this, all those A's uh, are forming some hull. Uh, so actually we're ending up in having a big A. Uh, so here we have a big A area, and this big A area is subdivided into small areas. A1, A2, A3, A4, and so on. This is why already wrote here, so this is A, huh? the complete surface A. This is why I already wrote here AI. <laughs> All right? So, uh, what is Complete flux, huh? phi, at this area. Yeah? Of course, it is the sum of all phi i. So it is the sum of all b i's multiplied by a i's. This is the, the total flux through this surface. And now I make the same trick, let's call it. I make the same trick as before. Uh, I imagine that all those areas that are getting tinier, 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 until those areas are still there, but unimaginable small. So that small, that they are still there, but so small that I don't notice. Uh, 
Ja? So dieses Agent ist infinitesimal transition. It's always a little bit, uh, 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 but all right. And then the sum is not getting the sum. This is getting a so-called integral. Ja? If it's very tiny pieces, ja? then we make a big S, the integral sign. And we summarize all A's. All A's. Ja? And we summarize the, magnet, uh, the, the magnetic field density, the magnetic uh, flux density, B, above. And now we multiply this with all little parts, DA. DA is all those little, little areas. Ja? Yeah. And that's actually how you calculate the flux out of the flux density. Yeah. Summarize and all local flux densities with, uh, with their portion. And then you know the flux density. Last time I've shown you those magnets. Yeah. Here, this is, this is a rod magnet or it acts like a rod magnet. Let's call it like this. But I've also shown you a real rod magnet. And, well, I will draw this rod magnet now. So we have a rod magnet. And somewhere at this rod magnet, we have a north pole. And somewhere we have a south pole. This was, this was, uh, I've shown you. Yeah? I've shown you this, uh, this magnetic field. And if I try to draw now this magnetic field, the magnetic field lines, it was looking like that. They are leaving the north pole, coming back here somehow. Yeah? Leaving the north pole, coming back here somehow. Here, this is how this, this magnetic field was looking like. Remember these crumbs of, 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 of iron, where I have shown you the form of the magnetic field. So this is the magnetic field, these are the, the so-called field lines. Not very detailed, but from we say it's going from north to south. Yeah? South is it's easy to remember. South is down on the map, so we are running down, even if it's not really down, but that's how you think it. And now there is the case that if I divide this, huh? so I divide this. Here in the middle, because then I would expect to have one north pole and one south pole. Huh? But I'm ending up with two smaller pieces. Each of them having their own north pole and their own south pole. So whenever I divide a magnet, then I get two magnets. <laughs> there is no monopole, there is no singular north pole. It's always the duality. North and south cannot be separated. Huh? There are no magnetic monopoles. There is just this two pole, north, south. Huh? So actually, in my mind, I could imagine that those field lines here in the inside the magnet, they are closed. These field lines are closed inside the magnet. And now, what do we see? Do we see a source of these field lines? No, they're just, they're just circling inside. They're going in the opposite direction. Yeah? They are just circling inside there. Yeah? There is no dedicated source. There is no dedicated sink of something. Yeah? It's a so-called vortex field. Okay, this thing is called vortex field. 
where is there is no dedicated dedicated uh, source. And now, this is why I wear my my shirt here. Remember this line. Yeah? This was Gauss's law for for uh, electric field. Yeah? So the the source. The source density, actually, the density of, of the source of the electric field was the local density of, of charges. So we said, okay, charges are the sources of, of uh, the electric field. There is no charge. There is no source. Yes, there is no charge. Let's think, what if we cover this stuff here? With a closed surface. Here we have a closed surface. Somehow. Closed surface. What does it mean? Maybe I notice also I said the vortex field. Write this down. So in a closed surface, let's let's make this. Let's make the magnetic flux over the closed surface, and then you can write woo, like this. It's a closed surface. You also make a little ring here. So this means this is the closed surface flux. All right, closed surface flux of all B's. Yeah, the A. So it's practically this, no, but for a closed surface. And everywhere where we are leaving, the, 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 the field is leaving, it must come back somewhere. There is no source. So everything that is going outside must go back in there somewhere. Yeah? And if I build the sun above the whole surface, yeah, this must be zero. This must be zero. Yeah? By the way, what 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 is zero? Yeah, zero, so-called Weber. <laughs> it was funnier when I was in school because our electrotechnic teacher was uh, called Weber. Yeah? So this is the unit. Unit one Weber. Yeah? One Weber. And this equals one volt second. Hmm. All right. So at this, this is actually Gauss's law for magnetism. This is why I chose this 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 headline. Yeah? And it's the next line on my shirt. Look at that. Source density. Uh, so the, 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 the divergence of, of our magnetic field, B, uh, magnetic, how, how expanded is magnetic field? It's zero. Zero. Uh, in German we call it Satz vom magnetischen Hüllenfluss. Uh, surface, closed surface flux. Uh, law of the closed surface flux, magnetic closed surface flux. In English, we call it Gauss's law for magnetism, yeah? and it's not it's not the contained charges because there is always both of them inside, so it must be zero. All right, so this is now uh, the magnetic flux. Something must drive this flux, right? This is not just there, yeah? because. Of something, so there must be a cause of this, of this magnetic phenomenon. Yeah? This cause is called a uh, magnetomotive force. Yeah? What we understand under magnetomotive force, we will see in the next video. I'm going to explain this. Yeah? For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.